Y'all just look at that fine premium load of pulpwood there. Mmm. Some rough stuff. So we'll let y'all stay here and watch the loader for just a couple of minutes. Gonna try and get a little variety of everything. Sometimes he's having to put that stuff through the box because the limbs are so bad on it. If he puts it through his topping saw first, see that stuff's so short, he's got to grab way up there by the butt and it just, he can pick the whole thing up off the ground. That's some bad stuff, y'all. Anyway, if he puts it in his CTR or his topping saw before he puts it through the box, Sometimes it will throw his chain off of his topping saw. So to prevent that, he's he'll put it through the box like this near the limbs are run off on it a little. I say run off. He may be just digging his trash. He may be going to top it right now. But anyway, we're just trying to we're just trying to push through this and get done. I got a phone call while ago saying they're gonna let us stay here and finish this. So we're just trying to push through and, and get done with it. So it's one of the things about logging is there is no certain set rule or rules on what has to be done, can be done, can't be done. So there he, he dug through trash first and now he's going to put it in the box and like that there the tops come out close enough without having to top it he didn't have to uh, clean in his road out. He didn't have to put it back to the saw. But anyway, he, he's having to be careful on how he, what he does with his tops and stuff in the in the limmer, the D limmer, the pull through D limmer, because it'll throw his chain off if he hits. If, if a limb springs back when he's going through there, it'll hit that chain just right and it'll knock it off. So sometimes he's having to put it through the box first, spin it around, then put it back through his pull through to pull, cut the tops off where the mill wants it. And y'all can see on that truck over there, that stuff, some of it, most of it is not touching the third bolster from the front. Some of it is, but we're having to separate out drags to fit on the trailer. We're having to sort the longer stuff out of this. 620 there so that is <clears throat> this that's the new guy today's his second day so the new skitter driver there that is actually the loader man's brother, which would be one of my other first cousins. So, almost a full family operation going right now. That's that's cool to me. That's that's why I log. It seems like I've always got to work with my family and stuff. There's the 748L. That one also has a new operator on it today. The guy that's been running it is on the track cutter. I moved him over to the track cutter. And uh, 
I put myself, I am now running the rubber tire. And we, the guy that we had hired out here working on the 620, I believe I mentioned to y'all last week that he was a new hire. He, he decided yesterday that, that uh, he's, he's never worked in the woods before. He was doing a really good job, but he just decided that logging wasn't for him and didn't want to do it no more, so no harm, no foul, nothing personal. So he went home yesterday and got another new guy on that today. He's never, this guy's never driven a skidder without a steering wheel before. They, this, those skidders there, they're, they're stick steer, joystick steering. All your old skidders used to have, to a degree, they used to all have steering wheels. There was some makes and models that actually had a lever, a lever on the dash, you pressed up, and went one way, you pulled down, you went another way. I never got to run anything like that because that was well before my time. But He's never run a skitter where the seat spins around in it because that seat, both of my skitters, my, my seats will spin around backwards so you can look behind you and see what you're doing. So he seems to be doing all right so far. We'll see how he, how, he, how he hangs out, how he comes along. We have a very, very rare very rare July cool front that has come through and it is super 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 nice outside this morning I think it was like 66 68 degrees this morning almost no humidity in the air dew points were really really low Normally this time of year we have like a 72 degree dew point and uh, usually we stay anywhere between 90 and 100 percent humidity year round. I've traveled parts of the country and they talk about it, well we have humidity here too. Yeah, y'all have humidity but y'all don't have 72 and 74 degree dew points. It is unbearable here most days. I can deal with hot and heat, but I the dew points, it, it, it's like putting a hot towel around your face. It damn near smothers you. It's horrible. But y'all heard how that deliminator started slowing down there. That thing has an auto idle function on it. He's got a button on the side of his joystick. It goes to a little box that, connect, that wirelessly connects to the chambers there. And whenever he goes to put his wood in it, he hits that button and it gives him 20 seconds the machine will idle up and run for 20 seconds and then it idles itself back down to an idle like what it's at right now. Saves diesel a bunch. Saves diesel a bunch. So he'll, uh, sometimes it's, it's taking longer than 20 seconds to drag that bucket of wood through there. And he has to re-hit the button.
Anyway, we're gonna go cut some wood with the old 718. I got the GoPro strapped to my head. I may, uh, I may turn the GoPro on and let y'all ride around with me in the 718 zone. That may be in a different video though. I may go find the tracks here after a while. Let y'all watch it. We ain't got some good video of it working in a while. It's real still outside today too. I say it's still. The trees are starting to wiggle up there a little bit. We may break the drone out. Who knows? Y'all hang out. I'll be back.